Hey guys, Tario here for a bit of a combo tutorial for the deck profile I just put up, the Zoo Brigade deck profile. I'm just going to show you a few combos and a few end boards for turn one, possibly even turn two. Uh, and I figured since I just put the deck out there, now would be the perfect time to kind of make a deck list and show you all in one video what this deck can do. Uh, most of these, I only, I only really have two or three combos I can show you that I really use, but I figured, why not? Uh, the first one I got is a uh, Zodiac combo, where you only really need one or two cards. Uh, first, I like to activate Fire Formation Tanky, you know? I think that's a great way to show up to start off, Fire Formation Tanky. With it, you can add a level 4 or lower Beast Warrior Monster from your deck to your hand. Mo uh, I'll either, depending on the situation, I'll add either a Thoroughblade or a Rapier. In this case, I'll add a Rapier. Uh, with Rapier, I can Normal Summon them. When I Normal Summon them, I can send a Zodiac Monster from my deck to the Graveyard. So, I'll send Ram Ram to the Grave. Then with Rap here, I'm going to Link, or uh, not Link Summon, I'm going to XC Summon into Chuckanine. Then with Chuckanine, I use the effect, Detach Rap here, the Special Summon Ram Ram. It doesn't matter what position you put a, a Ram Ram in, I just like to do defense in case they stop it with like a, an Ash or something. Then on top of Chuckanine, I go into Dryden, then with Dryden I use its effect, Detach Trekonine, Destroy Ram Ram, then Ram Ram's effect will activate, allowing you to special summon Trekonine. Then on top of Dryden, I bring out a Tiger Mortar, then with Tiger Mortar's effect I detach Dryden to attach a monster from the graveyard to Trekonine. It can be any one, I just like using Ram Ram because it's there. Then with Trekonine's effect, I detach Ram Ram in order to bring back Dryden. Then at this point, you can use all three to bring out any length three. Uh, I always like, with those three, I always like to go into Infinite Trek, Fortress, and Mega Clops, just because it's 4,000. And it's really only affected by Xyz monsters. You know. Uh, there is another one. I will show you down the line. Where you end on both this and some Morgue. But this is the main Zodiac combo I like to go into. And depending on your hand. I like to use Thoroughblade to discard Ram Ram to draw a card. That gives you a chance to draw into Ash Blossom. Into an Ibiru. Any really hand trap you need for going in round two. It allows you to go into your tribe brigade combos and just anything else you might need. Similar thing, you can start off with the uh, fire formation tanky. It's always a solid way to start off with this deck. Uh, and you can add Fract Hole. I always add Fract Hole with it for tribe brigade. Then I would use Fract Hole's effect to discard it. Then I would send a Kit, and using Kit's effect, I would send a Nerval. Then with Nerval's effect, you would Special Summon Caress. No, you would add Caress to hand. Sorry about that. Then, I always like to use the effect so that to Special Summon it. Just discard a Beast, Beast Warrior, or Winged Beast Monster to Special Summon it. So in this case, let's say I have a Whiptail. I'll just discard Whiptail. The special summon it. Then using its other effect, I can banish any number of beast, beast warrior, or winged beast monsters from my uh, graveyard. The special summon a link monster with that link writing. So if I banish three, like I'm going to right now, I just banish three. I can bring out a link three uh, monster, which is going to be the smorg. Bird of Sovereignty. Uh, then usually during the end phase, 
Every turn during the end phase, if you have some Morgan on the field, you can special summon a Winged Beast Wind Monster from your deck or hand. So I would special summon Barrier Statue of the Storm Winds. Uh, this way, you lock your opponent out of special summoning monsters other than Wind Monsters. Uh, this has helped me out a lot. Uh, it's caused a few of my opponents to just waste their entire battle phase just to get rid of Stormwinds. Uh, the ne your next turn, so long as you have Barrier Statue still on the field, you can, and if you draw any level 4 monster, any Zodiac monster or Fractal, that's at least a dozen monsters in your deck, if you have this. Like to throw a blade, for example, you can special summon it. Then Xyz summon into Digusto Emerald. Then, if you have at least three monsters, I'm just putting them back there to show you. If you have at least three monsters, you can detach a barrier statue, shuffle it and two other monsters into your deck. Then if you have some more still on the field, you can bring it back out with its effect. So you can still go off and special summon, but your opponent is locked out for at least two turns. Again, that's only if you have some morgue and the barrier statue. If I can find it. And the barrier statue is still on the field. But this way, you get a bit of recycling and you can lock your opponent out. This is kind of the best way I've found after a bit of playtesting, to kind of recycle it and keep your opponent locked out. This is probably the last one I can show you, because it's really the last one I know off the top of my head. I would activate Tanky to add, uh, let's say I have a Fractal, a Ram Ram, and a Thorough Blade. Let's say I have these three in hand. I would activate uh, Tenki to add a Ram Ram to my hand. Then I would Normal Summon Thorough Blade, discard Ram Ram. Sorry about that. Draw Ram Ram. Draw one card. Right? So you used your normal summon, but you've drawn a card. And you got the Ram Ram in the graveyard. So from here, like earlier, you can just go into Chuckanine. Use Chuckanine's effect. Detach Thoroughblade, special summon Ram Ram. Then go into Dryden. Use Dryden's effect. Discard it, pop Ram Ram. Then with Ram Ram's effect, bring back Chuckanine. Then go into Tiger Mortar, right? Use Tiger Mortar's effect, detach to add a material. Then detach Ram Ram from Chuckanine to bring back Dryden. Then like I said, we still have a Fractal in hand. So use Fractal's effect, discard it to send a kit to Grave. Then use Kit's effect to send Nerval. Then use Nerval's effect to add Caress. Then use Caress to send a Monster of the Grave to special summon it, right? Then use its other effect to banish a few cards. So I'll send a three uh, Tri Brigade in order to bring out some Morg. Then with some uh, with the three monsters. You can go ahead and go into Infanticrack Fortress Megaclops. Then once you end there, you can just special summon a Bird of Stormwinds. This way, you have a good 4,000 beater, you have this Morg lock, and you have a nice extra monster there. Uh, now if you're going second, uh, if you're going second, and you're able to set all this up, I may not go into the Samorg lock. I might banish four. Right? I might banish four. 
One, two, three, and four. I'll banish the Fractal as well. Banish four. And go into the Tri Brigade Shrag the Ominous Omen. Because when it's special summoned, you can banish a card on the field. So you can instantly banish like a back row or a monster on your opponent's field. Then you can link summon Bird of Sovereignty. This way you can banish another card on the field and you can bring out the Barrier Statue and still have the Samor Clock. It's not as safe for the Samor, but you can still have the lock and you can banish uh, up to three cards potentially. Because both of these are Ring Beasts, so you can banish three cards on the field uh, by the end of the turn. Before the end of the turn, it's only two, since you'll only have those two, but that's still something special. Uh, but with that, that's pretty much all the combos I can think of. If you have any others that you want to tell me about, let me know it in the comments section down below. Uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Stay frosty, my friends.